You can expect to hear more about AI and options trading. Joining me now is Mohammed Al Hume. He's executive director of Dynamic Strategies and Structuring at UBS, here to talk about artificial intelligence. Thanks so much for leading a panel. Thank you, Angie. So tell me what is the biggest takeaway on AI right now? What really came out of your discussion? So this is uh, the back of uh, quite a lot of work we've done at UBS and with a lot of other partners from outside the bank. Um, the, the, the main takeaway, and I hope a lot of people will come out with, is that 2018 taught us was that the future may be very, very different than it has that the past was. I mean, particularly after the financial, the global financial crisis, the market has uh, recently changed to a totally different dynamic that makes it such that anything that we uh, we do in options or any other uh, systematic strategies would be very different in the future than it has been over the last 10, 15 years. So what uh, we have identified is that the AI and big data and alternative data have set out an environment that will allow us to um, break away from looking at everything that happened in the past and trying to map the future to the past into saying, okay, what's happening today? How can we read what's going to happen with the market today? And how can we be position ourselves better? Um, and the combination of, of the available technology and option, uh, the options allow us to, f to come up with strategies that are a lot more interesting that we have had uh, in the past. Can you share a systematic option strategy with us? So the, 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 the options allow us to do a lot of things. So for instance, hedging is a topic that we have talked about a lot of, a lot of time. And the, 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 the way we have been looking at it in the past is to say, OK, when you want to hedge, you buy a put. If you buy a put, you know that the carry is expensive, so you shy away from buying puts. So you try to do put spreads, and then you go to put spreads are also expensive. Then you buy, instead of just buying optionality, you sell optionality. And you kind of try to use historical data to figure out what the, the strategies that would carry the least in, 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 in the past. And you would kind of stick with them and hope that they will perform exactly the same one they have performed in the past. What AI does for us is to say, OK, you can start with that as, as your baseline. But what you could do is every month or every week when you're setting up your strategies, you to look at today's environment and you say, OK, I'm, 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 I'm thinking the environment is actually getting more risky. I'm buying more hedges. And I'm thinking the environment is actually a lot less risky. So I'm taking out a lot of the, some of the hedges. And that dynamic allows us to adapt. And this is kind of the, uh, the, the, the topic of like or the new uh, line of the dynamic strategies that we're coming up with is what we call adaptive strategies. And that dynamic allows us to create things that are a lot more interesting in the future. Could you briefly describe the importance of AI in the options market? So AI, and this is kind of our vision, is that AI is going to become more and more important in the market. I mean, if, if you look back, and again, this is, um, uh, this is 10 years after like the biggest sell-off we had in, in during the financial crisis, and we a lot of uh, financials, uh, com financial companies have gone through a, a stress that allowed them, that kind of ha allowed them to reset their balance sheets and deal with a lot of the the risk. But now we find ourselves in a juncture where um, a lot of the, the the financial institutions are realizing that their technology is actually falling behind. So AI, and as we know, a lot of technology companies have adopted the AI and have been able to do a lot of things with it that uh, financial industry is actually behind in that aspect. And uh, we see, and personally with a lot of my colleagues, we believe that one way to have a jump ahead and get to where the market is supposed to be and all of the strategies should trade is to adopt AI uh, in very, uh, in a, every part of the investment process, both at the designing strategies, trading the strategies, tracking the strategies, enhancing them, and kind of creating a loop that would allow um, uh, investors to have better uh, strategies over time. Thank you so much for your comments today. And AI is definitely an area I think a lot of people will be paying attention to. So thank you. Thank you, Angie.